Top 4 Mind-Bending Theories That Will Change Your Reality What is the meaning of life? How did it come to be? And where are we heading? Such huge questions are too complex for many of us to comprehend. But others have spent their life's work developing theories to provide the answers. Buckle up, because it's about to get heavy. These are the top four mind-bending theories that will change your reality. Number four, the singularity theory. A term used to describe a moment or point in time when a civilization changes so much that the technology as well as its general rules become incomprehensible to those living in the previous generations. Singularity can be kick-started by a rapid jump in scientific and technological changes. The change will happen so fast and will be deemed so profound that much of what we are and how we function today will be changed drastically. In many ways, it's a point of no return. As mentioned, technology and science could usher in singularity, and many prominent people believe this is possible. Some even say we're on the verge of singularity right now. Artificial intelligence or robots are one of the primary culprits that could lead to singularity. There are two possible reasons for this. First, when we create a new form of intelligent life, this completely changes how we deal with and understand ourselves as humans. Second, having robots and AI allows us to develop more complicated technologies faster than ever, leading to our civilization completely changing even before we realize it. Ray Kurzweil, author of the book The Singularity is Near, which was released in 2006, pointed out we could be approaching a world where computers and humans fuse. His main argument was that technology is improving so fast it will eventually become instantaneous. He also added as technology and computers become more sophisticated, they will eventually merge with other technology including nanotechnology and robotics. Are there signs this technological singularity is fast approaching and we could find ourselves living in it soon? More recently, Google's DeepMind just beat legendary Go champion Lee Seddon, meaning it can now outthink a human in a creative technical game. Self-driving vehicles are now on the road and in many ways, we've also run past Moore's Law. Made famous by Intel co-founder Gordon Moore, he stated that the number of transistors on a microchip could double about every 18 months. This is the reason why we're able to create machines and supercomputers once the size of refrigerators to ones we can now hold in our hands. But right now we're at a stage where we're fast approaching the theoretical limit because you can only divide and shrink transistors so much before they malfunction thanks to quantum physics. It's expected that Moore's law will stop by the time we reach 2020. Another reason the singularity is close is the fact that robots are now doing a multitude of human jobs. Starting out in factories in the 1960s, they have come a long way. Today, robotic technology is fast advancing and military robots are also becoming common, with the men in the battlefield attaching emotional bonds with them even burying them in funerals like they would a fallen comrade. In the literary realm, a book written by a machine was accepted as a submission to the prestigious Hoshi Shinichi Library Award in Japan. Finally, there's the human capacity to edit genes. Scientists have mapped out the human genome, allowing them to track down which gene was which and what it did. With the help of a newly developed tool called CRISPR, this means having the capacity to edit out genes with ease. On the good side, this could mean having the ability to eliminate or switch off viruses and prevent diseases. But this also means we can now edit our genetic makeup, if and when we choose. It's a subject saturated in controversy, but a very real possibility. What we do know is that our current trajectory points to the fact singularity could happen. There have been past technological singularities as well. Someone 100 years ago would not grasp how we live our lives today, including the idea of the internet. And the gaps in these are becoming shorter and shorter every generation. Number 3. Simulation Theory
You, me, and the entire universe are nothing but a giant simulation run by higher beings who are smarter than we are. What's more, the game is so lifelike, we don't even know we exist in it, and we will also never find out. The simulation theory might sound like the main plot to the Matrix, but it's also a real scientific theory. While it's been proposed before, it first gained media attention in a 2003 paper by philosopher Nick Bostrom, titled, Are You Living in a Simulation? In this, he suggests that in the future, humans will be able to create such powerful computers that humans won't be able to distinguish between reality and simulators. Entrepreneur Elon Musk seems to think there's truth to the idea of a simulated world. Other scientists and forward thinkers in different fields also point to quarks in the universe that could give credence to the idea of a simulated world. Neil deGrasse Tyson puts the chances we are inside one huge computer game to be at 50-50, pointing to the fact there's a huge gap between chimpanzees and humans in terms of intelligence, so it's likely another being out there could have a far vaster intelligence than our own. Meanwhile, cosmologist Max Tegmark from MIT noted that the more they learn about the universe, the more they see the rigid mathematical laws that seem to be in place. Of course, there are detractors to the idea of a simulated reality. They say that no matter how sophisticated and powerful quantum computers become in the future, creating a perfect simulated reality might still prove impossible. Humans aren't expected to last long here on Earth, relatively speaking, so having them evolve to a point where they would have the capacity to create a fully envisioned simulated world is not possible either. Even though many disagree with this theory, Tyson and physicist Dr. Green say there are several things to watch out for that hints the universe we have isn't what it seems. First, just like the Matrix, there should be glitches. Real universes don't have them, but any computer program, no matter how sophisticated, will. However, they do admit a program so highly developed might also have the means of doing a rewind and making the simulated entities or items not realize that certain glitches happen. And second, a simulated world and whoever its creators are would never allow the simulated beings to know or realize that it's happening. Hence, we might never find proof of this. Just like advancing 3D gaming, eventually it could become so high-tech that we completely lose consciousness to the fact that we're playing in a simulated world, at which point it will simply become the world we live in. In the end, while it's difficult to prove we're living in a simulation, it's even tougher to prove that we're not. Number 2. The Multiverse Probably one of the most popular theories out there, the multiverse idea is more than a theory but an actual possibility, at least according to physics, the string theory, and quantum mechanics. The idea that the universe we inhabit isn't the only one out there, and that there's a multitude of universes is mind-boggling. If true, there could be an infinite amount of parallel universes, and in each one, there's a version of you. How would it be possible for these to exist? And what signs can we look to in order to find evidence there could be other dimensions we are not aware of? To tackle the first question, there are several scientific theories presented from different fields that can make parallel universes a possibility. First, we have no clue what the actual shape of space-time is, but it's likely to be flat and stretch on with no end. If this is correct and it ends up stretching to infinity, then at some point it's bound to repeat itself since there's a limit to the number of times a particle can be arranged within space and time. So if this is so, then there's another you somewhere along the stretch of universe, and these twins could be doing what you're doing right now, but with slight differences. Another possible explanation is an offshoot of the string theory, the idea of universes that sit outside the reach of our own. This speculates that several other dimensions float in space and time aside from ours. This theory also explains that sometimes these parallel universes don't always lie parallel and could possibly slam into each other creating a whole new Big Bang that resets non-stop. A third theory is that of eternal inflation. And this one, they say when the Big Bang occurred, the universe expanded or inflated rapidly like a balloon. 
Certain pockets of space-time stopped inflating while others continued on to create various bubble universes. The one we live in stopped inflating and had a chance to develop stars and galaxies while the other bubbles continued on inflating, creating more universes that could be radically different from ours. These are just three theories that could explain multiverses, but how do we go about testing their existence? In the string theory and that of inflation, the universes are created in a physical space unlike the ones proposed in quantum mechanics, which are purely mathematical. The universes for the first two could possibly collide and when they do, then there would be telltale signatures that could be left behind. These are exactly what scientists are looking for, and these could include black holes and the cosmic microwave background which are the remnants of the Big Bang. There are also those that look to gravitational waves for clues. Ultimately, this idea is fascinating. It's so difficult to grasp because you're dealing with an infinite amount of possibilities. But mathematically, there's only so many ways that particles can configure, and if they go on forever, then there's an infinite amount of yous and everyone else you know somewhere out there. Number 1. Retroactive Precognition Does precognition exist and is it possible for humans to carry it out? Well-respected psychologist Daryl Bem from Cornell University recently published a paper showing that precognition capabilities could be a real phenomenon. Titled Feeling the Future, Experimental Evidence for Anomalous Retroactive Influences on Cognition and Effect, the paper was published in the well-respected Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. Daryl took well-established psychological tests and reversed the order to determine whether humans have the ability to predict what they would do in the future. One standard test, for instance, involves asking subjects to type particular words chosen at random from a list, and then they're asked to remember words from the full list. The results often show the students can remember more words than they had typed. In Bem's test, he reversed the order by showing the list, asking students to recall words from it, and then asking them to type a random selection of them. Oddly, the test showed that students were able to recall words at a significantly higher rate that they would later have to go on and type. This showed that somehow their minds knew which words would show up in their future experiences and chose the words in advance. In total, he ran nine experiments on over 1,000 subjects. It's a fascinating idea and one that could prove the reality of precognition. PSI or ESP often includes telekinesis, telepathy, and future cognition. It borders on fringe science and sits under parapsychology. But is it really possible for humans to possess such abilities? Bem's study and experiments weren't the first that pointed or hinted that these could be real human abilities. Various studies and experiments in the field of parapsychology and even by other agencies like the military have conducted similar experiments. For the military, they were done on soldiers and people hoping psychokinesis and remote viewing would be of future use to them. And there's proof actual experiments were carried out in the 1980s. Some even believe that during the Stargate project where they studied remote viewing, at least one CIA declassified file points to the possibility they may have foreseen the events of 9-11 long before it happened. A declassified file from 1986 seems to point to this fact, and if the remote viewer sees signs of devastation, even describing what he sees in detail as, newspaper headlines have something to do with the collapse of a building, a lot of people hurt or injured. I also sense a feeling of panic, people scrambling, and perhaps something to do with an aircraft. In summary, standing on top of a building which is crowded, a large object falling heading toward the building. Traveling at a great velocity, I sense the object may cause structural damage as it crashes through the building. All of this takes place sometime in the future. You can read the declassified file in a link in the description below. Today, the debate of the existence of PSI abilities and its various uses is still up for contention. Many still don't believe it's a possibility, while others say it's intertwined with our reality 
It's something we may have been more in tune with in ancient times. Much like it's hard to fully understand the universe we live in, it's very possible there's parts of our minds that work in ways we have yet to comprehend. So there were the top four mind-bending theories that will change your reality. From being a simulation to psychic abilities, these still remain as theories right now, but don't be surprised if one day we end up developing ways to actually prove them to be true. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel, and each week we'll bring you a new Scary Mysteries video to enjoy. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on what's coming next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.